Hello everyone, this is Aeris Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Traumatal Town Let's Play. We continue for episode 18 from turn 70 in the summer season of 204. So, this should be our final episode as we're marching towards the capital kingdom of Yet. They sent two army at us at the end of last episode, and we dispatched them, so that might be the last bit of real resistance we see. We're gonna change these dances and then sent these armies that were victorious to take Pingyuan, and then we'll march from there. I think we'll take into the breach. And none of them can reach Pingyuan. That is just great. And none of them can actually take on the enemy either. Well, this is awkward. They're also running short on supplies. But we kind of have to keep going. Why is this road so bad? Alright, we're going to take that next turn then. They turn around after... Our ambush sort of failed. It's not a strong army. We have enough spear units here. We're going to chase them. And we might... We might march, actually. Just to keep pace. We'll continue to push into Langya. We'll ignore Shenpei's army. I could just wipe them out. Let's see if there's any penalties for this war decoration. Nope. I think he actually has an army in the south. That might cause a little bit of a problem for us. But we need every county that we can get. If we can't delegate for the win, we're just going to siege them out. Help is on the way anyways. Uh, we can also... Pop over. We'll see if they fall for it. Oh, Zhang Qian got art from eight princes. We don't need to hunt them down anymore. So I think for this army, the choice is just to march north. That's their capital. He's gonna run, but not run far enough. We're just going to march as far as we can, just to make sure we can take that next turn. How's the siege going? Are we now favored? Still not. We'll keep going. I'll try not to waste too much time with these siege battles against minor opponents, which is why these would just be sieges. Down south, we should have a pretty easy path. We need roughly 10 counties to reach our 95 goal. We might have to downgrade the next settlement we pick up, just because we're kind of losing supplies here. 10% movement. That helps. Okay, we got two levels. That's good. 
Right, they declare war on us, but they're not in a position to punish us for it. And then this army is going to race down to Tangwu. Try to get as close as we can. Right, they'll grab this and they'll move down, get the copper mine. Uh, they'll be fine. Alright, so that's pretty much all we can do in terms of setting up the fights this turn. I could turn him. He is an army in front of us. We're gonna have him poison his own army, deny their supplies. And the thing with denying supplies, I think, for bandits is also if they don't have enough supplies or loot, they're going to be very disloyal, which is why they're flipping so easily. Yeah, we pretty much render this army useless. They're still replenishing, though. Let's stop that. We are hindering it, so I guess there's a certain percentage that we can stop. But it's not going to fully stop it. Let's also make them fatigued. And then poison them one more time. They're still... it's minus 10. I wonder if it's stackable? If it is, it's ridiculous then. Is it just more turns of minus 10, or actually builds up to 20 now? More turns of minus 10. Okay. We don't need to step in. It's fine. Uh, he's the spy that came back. We don't need him. Uh, let's throw Guanyu in here. Uh, have Li Bu in charge of ceremonies. I mean, it's a position. Let's see, where else can we assign one? Changsha, that's fine. He's probably not the best character for that post. It's not terrible. 2%. For all income source, not very high. Me, uh, similar. Got four percent here. Dayon's better. All right, we're not very rich. Going to have to make do with what we have. Alright, that's all we have. Oh, they opted.
opted for the fight. Decent amount of cavalry units. I don't think that's going to stop us, though. I think it's going to be more of a flanking maneuver. Let's go get some fights. Not gonna waste shots on the cavalry. See what we can hit in the middle there. Ooh, um. Hold on. I want to be the one asking for it. I'm gonna debuff them. And then back off. And then start taking control of these. Alright, not so frontal here. But we should be fine. Gonna shift one over. Ooh, friendly fire, friendly fire. Yeah, these weapons are not fair. Angle these a little bit better next time, give them better shooting lanes. But it's kind of over. Huh. 
They have a few cavalry around, but they can't really get clean charges on the side. All right, they're finally charging. Ooh. A little too late. Yeah, they had no chance. There's not a lot of ammo on these guys, but I guess that's fair. I'm gonna actually start executing everyone. I want to force them to summon their generals over here rather than pulling them back at home and defending their capital. Sure. We're the High Empire with our relatives. Uh, we would have to fight them here. They only have a lot of reinforcements from the settlement. Aside from those units, really not much to worry about. They do have one general that can fight. If he's not willing to duel, we can always just snipe him. Just moving around too much. Easy kill on Luo Jun. Do we mount? Ooh, I distracted there. Right, they saw our cavalry. We have ability. Get some kills here.
Can't really charge the Zor Dragon. This kind of has to be our play. We charge into this center of the formation here. We kill the elite swordsman. Keep charging. And then break. Actually, can we turn around? Might be better if we can get out of here. Cycle this charge. Alright, we should have all the range units taken care of. We can throw some grenades if we want to. Not a big deal. Might be over before they get here. We threw everything except for this group. Alright, they're done. Alright. Pretty good wipe. I think the settlement fight should be quite easy now.
Yeah, they had an administrator here as well, plus a gate pass. We might have to peace out with them, depending on what happened to the army in the south. Superstitious event that actually has a good trigger. Alright, they have a lot of troops there. I wonder if we can get a spy his faction. That would be great. Where are you? Are you in the middle of nowhere? Flipping him. Kind of pointless. Poisoning him. Much more useful. I think that's enough. Yeah, I think that's as low as it's going to get. And we can also extract him. Um, Makes the fight easier, but let's keep him here. Still going to be an easy fight. Alright, she still has Sihu, which we have to go take. There is going to be a stack there. Oh, not much of a stack. Okay, so that's not going to be a problem. Alright, I'm going to have them take it so that they can get the supplies afterwards. Or there's another stack nearby. Okay. I'm gonna just take the delegate here. I'm going to get close to the settlement to help them out a little bit. We're going to downgrade it to get supplies. And put the emperor back in the capital. Yeah, we still have a ton of corruption. They ran. We have enough supplies here. Should be fine. We're just picking up land that we need for the final win.
Well, he's going to go north, I think. We can leave this force on the field. Yeah, they're too weak to do anything. And we can take the remaining pieces of land there. We have 10k saved up. Now, we can't really... I don't think we can get another full stack. But we can get some generals to help us out. Maybe even just dragging some... Some additional siege equipment. We're gonna go pretty cheap. Oh, she has bomb slingers too. Wow. Probably just spear units? Shot cavalry. Wow. Didn't expect that. We don't have many good shot cavalry options. We might just go cheap. They'll get the job done. And then for her, like, we can give her a title. We can also get rid of some titles. They are expensive. There should be one with the flaming shot. And I can load up on her trebuchets. This one. end up making a few people sad. Mifo might be down here. It's a pretty steep drop, but I think it'll be okay. I think we'll be fine. What we can do is borrow some items. Oh, 
All right, we'll leave that alone. Drop it to level zero. But we do need the supplies. Alright, Sun Tzu's army kind of disappeared. We might not want to march anymore. Alright, we should be able to recover it if they do take it. So Neutron's faction get wiped here. Because we'll take his settlement as well. I mean, Swinsa could pop up and hit us when our generals are really low here. If he's in ambush, he got us pretty good. They should have some time to recover. We don't have to force them to move. We have no supplies. We'll take the path, downgrade it. Alright, this army here, after we take this delegate win, we can resummon them and then put them out east. As long as we can win the delegate. We're not in a rush to cross the river here. They can rest up. We clean up this mess. We have armies cleaning up the mess over here. The Vance here has halted a little bit, but uh, that's normal. We're sending Guan Yu and hopefully we're just going to send a couple more to help us out here. We don't really have a clear path to throw any navy at them. So we're not going to do that. And instead we'll use the money we just got to pump out two more tribuches. We're just going to overwhelm them here. Oh, actually, the money needs to be spent. Not enough. Hmm. I mean, her faction's done. Imperial favor is low. Should be gone by this time. Anyways, um, we will. Guess we spend a little bit of it. Let's go. Are they going to try to organize an attack? 4v1. We can retreat this army easily. Or we can fight this mess, but we have the advantage of sitting here replenishing. I mean, they don't get the mustering bonus, but that's not a big deal. They force this fight. It's a siege battle, which is interesting. The settlement might still be damaged. Our generals are not healthy. We're going to have to really pull some tricks here to get this to work.
They have a lot of friends. Alright, let's give them the fight. Alrighty, so... The good news is, this is only a capture point, so we don't actually have to sit inside, we can leave. The problem is, the siege weapon's not gonna leave very fast, so... It still benefit us to stay here for a bit and try to defend this as much as we can. Alright, we can do something like this. All the units are super weak. And they're gonna flood in on this side. I can barricade this, just to prevent them from going from anywhere else except for that. Make it difficult on their cavalry. Light up the floor. They do have one range unit. They do have fire arrows, but it is raining. decide where to throw these guys because there's no cover for them here I mean even over here who's really gonna be covering for them who have no front line I feel like we throw these two guys kind of over here I assume we can light that up send send them to die The generals can buy a lot of time over here. Keep two cavalry in the back. A little bit of debuff. Put them in the front. We can still grenade. Sounds about right. Let's see how this goes. Uh, actually, it's raining. We don't need the morale damage. They're pulling towards their reinforcement, which actually gives us quite a bit of time. Race into the settlement, please. Come help us. Trebuchet, not sure if it's ever going to make it in time. At least we don't have to worry about losing the city center, which is a blessing. They can burn that down, it's fine. Alright, who's gonna kill these guys?
Uh, this is not great. Generals? That's, that's pretty much what we have to do. Third generals here. Fight. I mean, they're not terrible in melee. Then we're throwing the generals together. Okay. Go back out there, harass him. We try to kill him. Okay, we got a berserk. Two heals. Should be clutch. Alright, we got some new friends coming in. This group is never going to get into the settlement. They're just so low health. Alright, Golden Sun's down. Tempted to pull Guo Jia out so he can use his bow. They has not they have not even advanced. They're waiting to burn that down. That's just not happening. I'm gonna send these cavalries over here just to halt them a little. Uh, we have another death. But that's what we want. We want these triggers. And we're buying a decent amount of time for them to get some shots out, which is all we can ask for. Maybe I should dismount. Let's get our guys in here first. Yeah, we should be able to kill both. They're still not going. Alright, the cavalry got stuck, but we're buying time for the towers to do damage, so that's good. I mean, we have our second line set up here. We can move them up, actually. Take us a bit of time, but we can defend here. Why did we get close to him to make that shot?
they're pulling back towards their reinforcements. The tower is doing its job. They're done. Alright, we scatter them. There's gonna be more, but I think they're just fresh recruits. Maybe Zhao Yun shows up. It'd be a little difficult. We'll keep the cavalry on this side. They're coming in. This siege weapon's probably only gonna get to, oh, not this. This siege weapon's probably only gonna get to here. Maybe here at the most. We got some new customers. Can we shoot him? We don't have enough range. Uh, just stay then, just stay. It's not a lot of people shooting, it's fine. Alright, see, that's not gonna be a problem. We have cavalry here. Once again, we like close range, apparently. Can we shoot him? Can we shoot him again? Are we only are we only good for one shot? Alright, they're dumping damage on our guys. I can't really do much about that. They just outrange us here. Are we sure we can't shoot him again? That bow is kind of stuck, isn't it? Alright, they're starting to advance. Want to drag them back out. Basically, they followed and they got dragged into range. Alright, able to tag some damage. He's finally shooting. Tower got him. There we go. That's what we're gonna see. Reload, reload, reload. Second shot, please. Okay, we're gonna have to pull them back. You guys go up. So we can get an angle there. I mean, they are in our range now. Fire is burning. They have to walk through that. And I think I can get a little side flank here where they can get some clean shots. Gotta kill these cavalry. See, there we go. Got the shots going down.
Try to thin them out. They don't they don't need to be here. Alright, they're beat. I'll charge out. Ooh, Guojia got taken out here while we're not looking. Let's even give them a debuff here. Give them a heal. Ah, no. I ignore the strategists. Go after these guys. There's more coming. They're done. Send them away. No need to have them die here. Lost here, but not really much of a threat left. We're gonna shift everyone back and then have the grenades ready here. Move them back. can go fight. We're going to throw a grenade over here. Alright, they're done. Go join them.
Eventually, they're going to run out of arrows and become regular cavalry units, eventually. What are they doing? They're trying to kill these guys? Is it really worth it? They're going to be fighting in these towers. I'm okay with that, actually. Got two grenades. Let's go. Got a couple more over here. Army loss. Jolyon's gonna be done without having to fight him. Perfect. All right, quite the defense. This should turn things around for us. We might actually capture a bunch of them. Everyone's dead. <laughs> Come on, give us a couple captures. And we're going to recruit here, just to weaken them. If we can't recruit, we're going to execute. Replenishment. It's a tough fight, but we got through it. Oh, they have a lot of stacks. Never mind. We have two more full stack coming out, so until it pops back, no problem. Oh, we finally have an heir. We have a daughter. A princess is born. Right, so they have two more stacks showing up. These four stacks are still on the map. They took away our mustering. They wiped out a lot of our units. We're not in a great position right now. So we're going to have to regroup here. We're not going to be able to take out their capital this episode. Maybe not even next episode given the amount of resistance that we're seeing here. I have no idea how many characters he has at court. I can't get a spy in, so... Not really sure if he can keep replenishing these generals as soon as we're wiping them off. But we're probably going to leave these weakened army kind of on the field, even though they are going to be in friendly territory. We're going to have to work down these two with our three pretty battered forces. Maybe a northern route might be faster? Guan Yu is coming, but it's going to take a while to get him there. So yeah, we're going to end the episode here. Uh, we will have a couple fight with Sun Ce. He's popped back. Uh, this army is not really ready for him. I think he's going to be pretty tough here. Oh, we can take the fight. I think it's not that bad. Over here, Sun Quan didn't make a move. Hesitation is his greatest weakness. and. We're going to teach him a lesson there, and then maybe sail down, clear the coastline. They're still digging in. He's probably going to go turn north, grab these three, and he's going to come down south and probably grab these three. He can probably get these four, and then basically Kingdom will get wiped. That's really not a big issue right now. The big issue is how do we deal with Gong Sun Zan, who's proven to be quite capable. 27 points. It's close, actually. Can we kind of make it work? 27 points. He's never going to be friendly. Recent losses, what we have to swing. Respectability is not helping us. But even with that, it's still quite far. I mean, I know they had enough. 
But unless you're willing to be confederated, we're going to just keep mowing him down. Does anyone feel weak enough to become our... I mean, this we can make happen. This as well. If we really needed some land at the very end, we can use that. But I think we're good on land. 94, yeah. We just have to get through Gong Sun Zan's armies, which has been proven to be quite endless. Uh, we did summon back a force, so we have another army that we can dump here. It's just getting very busy here with constant attack. We can't really muster properly. And that's going to slow us down quite a lot. I don't even have a great assignment that can help us. 2%, that's not really going to do much. But that's like the best we have at this point, so we might go for that and see how that goes. Yeah, population is not high. This is with a bunch of replenishment items, I think. Oh, not on their army, but we have a bunch on theirs and 23%. Even that's not very good. We'll see what we can do. They don't want peace. Because we could probably trick them with sort of a land swap. Maybe this is the better route. They can absorb attention. And then we go for this. So instead of wiping out Zhang Yan here, we zag and go for Zhongshan. And then summon the army here take this relatively resistant free path towards their capital while they kind of occupy six different armies and see how things go from there. So we'll try a few things next episode and see what that gets us. And until then, bye!